It seems like lately I have been running into a lot of people that are planning on moving out of state. Some just need a change, some are retiring to warmer climates. Whether you are moving to Washington or moving out of Washington state, moving stinks. There's a lot of planning to do when moving out of state and a lot that needs to be done. I have been selling real estate for 18 years now and I've gathered a lot of information and tips from previous buyers and sellers that I wanna share with you to help make the process a little bit easier. My name is Karen Jackson with John L. Scott Real Estate. If you get some good information from this video, please be sure and like it and put a comment below if I can answer any questions for you. Thank you so much for watching. So let's get started. Tip number one, don't rely solely on the internet for your information. The internet is a great source for your initial research. There are lots of online tools to help you get a good idea of pricing, and there are a lot of YouTube videos and advice that you can find about the area. But it is really, really hard to get a good grasp and true atmosphere of the neighborhoods and areas unless you visit them. You will want to plan a short trip to explore the new area. For example, moving to Seattle is much different in atmosphere and price than moving to rent in Washington. What you see online is typically the good of the area. Usually you're not seeing the neighboring surroundings or the bad. Also, if you're planning to move to Washington, many people get sticker shock when they move here. Our prices tend to be much higher than other states, unless of course you're moving from California. If you're moving out of state from Washington to another state, you will likely get a mansion it is a good idea to know what type of home you can afford first. Be sure you stick around to the end of this video so you can hear the most important tip of moving out of state or moving to any house for that matter. Tip number two, do your research on moving companies. If you are relocating with a job and your HR department sets you up with relocation, this may not apply to you. But if you're hiring your own movers, you will want to do your homework. Be sure to read the fine print. Read their reviews, or better yet, ask for a referral. I can help you with that if you would like. You will want to get a quote from a few moving companies. I would suggest three. Rates are all over the board. You will also want to check on timelines, timelines for when they can pack and move your stuff, and then timelines for how soon you can get your stuff in your new home. You will want to know what do they pack and what do they not pack or what they won't move. There are some items that moving companies will not pack, so it would be best to know that ahead of time. Moving companies get really busy, so be sure to do this early. Another alternative are pods. Pods are where a company brings a container to your house. You fill it and then they move it and store it until you're ready for it. You also might check to see if the moving date can be a little bit flexible. Sometimes closing timelines don't always happen as they should. Tip number three, be sure all your utilities are turned on before you move. There is nothing worse than showing up after a long travel day to your new home and ready to relax and there is no water or no power. And the tip you've all been waiting for that you don't want to miss, the most important tip for moving out of state, or to any house for that matter, drum roll please, be sure that the last box to be loaded and the first box to be unpacked is your essentials box or toolbox. In this box, you will want to pack some tools for hanging pictures or putting together furniture, the first thing you're going to want to put together is your bed and you will need a screwdriver. You'll want some nails, some cleaning supplies, paper towels, toilet paper, just in case, waters, and any other essentials you can think of. Be sure to pack a bag with some extra clothes also, and maybe a small table and a couple of chairs. When that last load comes off, you're going to be exhausted from the coordinating and the packing and maybe meeting a closing date timeline for your home sale. Pack up this box first so you don't forget to include it. You will be super happy that you did. Check out my video on downsizing tips for some more great suggestions. 
Thank you so much for watching.